Hey guys, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. I know some of us out there love to look good, but we also love to look good on a budget. So keeping in theme of my past couple of looks to affordable videos, today I am bringing you some dupes that I discovered in my collection that are identical to their higher end counterparts. So if you want to see what they are, stay tuned. Okay, so I am going to talk about a primer. We all know Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Soft Matte Primer. I love this primer because it is a soft matte primer. It, it works perfect for my skin type. I do not like primers that are too matte. I want something that will help control the oils but still not make me look like cake at the end of the day. I don't want my skin to feel too dry. I'm all about achieving a natural looking skin at the end, even though I'm wearing a shit ton of products. And I find that NYX Angel Veil Primer is very, very similar to this one. I just pumped some in the back of my hand. This one is the Fenty one. This one is the Fenty one. This one is the Angel Veil one. The Angel Veil one is a little bit more runny. It's of a, a lighter formulation, but I feel like it gives me the same effect as the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte. It's, it gives you a nice soft matte um, finish and gives you this soft veil like finish on your face as well so I feel like these two products are just very very comparable so if you don't have this one I feel like this one will work just the same for you this one is only $16 foundations I have two foundations here for you another one from the Fenty Beauty the Pro Filter foundation this foundation is a matte foundation it's it's really it's matte but I feel like it's not like a heavy matte but it can be very drying if you have dry skin and if you do not like foundation that's, that's very drying because this foundation I feel like when you apply it you don't have to set it because it dries down so dry you don't necessarily have to use powders with it another one that I feel like is very comparable to it is the Catrice HD coverage liquid foundation this foundation is bomb as hell this foundation is less than ten dollars my only issue with this foundation with the um, brand is the color range they just extended the range but it's difficult to find the color hence the reason why i hardly reach for this because i don't have my color and i have two shades you know uh, the finish is very similar or almost exactly the same as the fenty one the formulation is a bit different i feel like the fenty one is a little bit thicker this one is a little bit more like liquidy it's more runny but the end product is the same so if you don't have the fenty one try this one you will not regret it another one another one <laughs> is the Estee Lauder double wear foundation now this foundation is in my top five favorite higher-end products I love this foundation and I only reach for this foundation when I know I want a bomb as be face and I want my makeup to last through heat storm rain whatever it is this is a foundation that I like to reach for however wet and wild photo focus foundation i feel like is so similar to the double wear foundation this foundation stays in place and does not move this foundation is only six dollars i think and you can get them on sale for at least under five dollars there's always a sale on wet and wild products i love wet and wild is one of my favorite drugstore brands this foundation is the bomb and they have a, a very good shade range where I feel like you can find your shade. The finish is the same. It's not a full, full coverage, but it stays in place. You know what I mean? Um, the thing about these foundations is if you have a drier skin type, I would always recommend you moisturize really well and use some more of a hydrating primer. I feel like there's um, importance in balancing the product that you're using on your face. It plays um, a big part in the end product of your your makeup application if that makes sense to you. for example if you're using a very matte foundation based on your skin type I wouldn't recommend you using a matte primer as well I have all the combination skin so I like striking for balance so I would probably reach for something that's of a softer matte finish or something that's a little bit hydrating and then again it comes back to the time of the year as well so I feel like you should pay attention to things like that when you are using products so if you don't have the box this foundation is almost like 50 or 60 dollars this foundation under five dollars on a sale <laughs> concealers concealers 
the goat of concealers and my favorite concealer of all time is the Tarte Shape Tip. This is about everybody's favorite concealer and trust me, it is worth it. My own popular opinion is I don't think that's something as a Chrysler concealer until Tarte came out with a concealer. This concealer is so creaseless. It is wonderful and I only use this on special occasions because I don't think my, my skin can handle it because it's thick, it's full coverage, it does not move. I almost feel like you can get away without setting this concealer because it dries down so quick. You have to work with it really fast though, but it is wonderful. If you haven't heard about Tarte Shape Tape, do your research or you're probably living underneath a rock. So for me, um, a comparable one to that is the e.l.f. Camo concealer. I spoke about this concealer in the products I'm loving at the moment. It's one of my favorite concealers and this is $5. It is so thick and full coverage and the texture is just so similar to the Tarte. You have to work with it really fast as well. It dries down really fast. It doesn't crease. It just stays in place. I love them. Elf. So if you don't have the almost $30 for this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, try the next best thing. Elf. <laughs> powders so I love the Huda Beauty powder I feel like I cannot go wrong when using this powder this powder you can bake with it you can lightly press it in with a brush whatever you do it just does not make you look dry and creepy um, if you're a makeup lover you know that some powders when applied underneath your eyes can give you this dry creepy look and just make you look aged more than you really are some powders really do that to your skin. It doesn't matter what I do with this powder. I bake it, I press it in, I gently press it in, whatever. It does not do that to me. It's so fine and so um, soft and it fills in your pores. It makes everything look very, very smooth and filtered. Like instantly you can see the results when you use this powder. But we have Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This powder is, in my opinion, identical to Huda Beauty Powder. I don't use it for myself a lot, personally. I do use it, however, but I use it on my clients. And I see the results so much more on my clients. Like, it instantly smooths the skin. This comes in a lot of shades, as well as the Huda Beauty one. So you can find one to highlight, to bake, or you can find one to, that is your skin type to set your makeup. They are just amazing, amazing, amazing powders. And I think this powder is like $6 and this one is like $35. Tell me, what is the choice? This gives you the exact result as this one. And if you could find this one, why buy this one? There's no science. Benai Luxury Banana Powder. This is also one of my favorite powders. It has been for the longest while. After Sasha Buttercup and before um, Huda Beauty Powder. This powder is amazing. I still love it so, so much. If you do not want your makeup to move, this is the powder you're looking for. It really sets your face and keeps everything in place. It's a lovely, lovely powder. And these comes in different shades as well. So you can find a shade for your complexion if you're looking, if that's what you're looking for. But I've discovered that Jcat Beauty Banana powder is very similar to this and this is like six dollars i mean this one is not like crazy expensive it's like this size is probably like twelve dollars or fifteen dollars or something like that and the other sides are like twenty dollars or something like that but six dollars i mean come on you can save the buck to buy a elf concealer <laughs> so you can get a powder and a concealer at the same time this one is a really really nice powder as well and it's a bit of a darker yellow than the banana powder the banana powder is a bit lighter if you're someone who's scared of baking and making underneath your eyes look lighter than the rest of your skin um this is one you could try you know it's they're all translucent but they still give you a different effect in the long run as in terms of the brightness that you're trying to achieve so i feel like this powder would be nice for someone who's like my skin type and my skin tone and darker because the, the, the yellow is a bit darker like i mentioned and i feel like sometimes Based on the concealer that you use with it, it tends to even look darker than the color that's in the um, that's in the container. So if you can't find this, you find this, and they're all drugstore products. You can find them in almost all your drugstores, Alta, and all these products can give you a bomb as a beat face without spending the chi ching. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know. <laughs>
Okay, so if you're someone who's just not a makeup enthusiast or lover like me, and you just want to look good, but you don't want to be spending all that money, these are some of the brands you can check out in any drugstore, any altar. You will be sure to find them, and there are always some sale. Buy one, get one half off. Buy one, get one 40% off. You can always catch a sale to save money. So, hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Um, I will list the products down in the description box. Be sure to check it out. I will also list my some of my videos related to this. Check it out. I will list some videos in my eye cards and my end screen so that you can continue looking while you're on my platform. Like, why not watch another video? Why not? Tell me why. I'll wait. <laughs> All the links to my social media platform and how to book me. I am a makeup artist and I do nails here in Brooklyn. I'm a nail tech as well. I'm a black nail tech to support black businesses. It will be in the description box. Check out my links. Follow me on my platforms. See my work. Um, please like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. Help me to reach the millions here on YouTube. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate the support and I welcome all the new subscribers. And I will see you in my next video next week. Bye, guys.